G'day everyone. Time for a bit more Falcon fun, I think. So, I need a couple of extra buttons on the dashboard, but I don't feel like drilling holes in the dashboard. And since I don't have an ashtray anymore, since I threw it out, I've decided to build a little panel in there to put some buttons in. It's going to look something like this. It's a little bit of cardboard template I've made. A button for me horn, interior lights, and an extra Siggy lighter. You can never have too many 12 volt outlets. And I've just got some scrap stainless that came out of a bin. So I'm just going to transfer that to that. And it'll be, it'll be good. We'll say there's some brackets. They're just going to go in there like that. And these will just glue onto the uh, the existing dashboard and it should be more than enough to hold it up between the two of them. So, let's get stuck in. This is all just a pretty rough template. I think there's going to be a lot of trimming and testing going on. Okay, so I want to try and bend the bottom half of this thing down around so it sort of looks a little bit nicer in the dash. So I've sort of managed to fabric cobble together this little temporary bending jig. It's by no means perfect, but it seems to seems to work. So see, am I a genius or is this terrible? Let's find out.
excellent. So I'm just gonna put another bend somewhere along here. So it sort of goes the rest of the way back around and I think that'll look pretty snazzy. All right, so I'm basically done with this. All fits in there nicely. I've got some brackets made up. These are just gonna be arrow dighted into the old ashtray. And this will just screw onto those. So how do we make all that happen? Well, what I'm thinking, so I can just tack weld these in place, stick it in the old ashtray, make sure it all fits. If everything lines up as I hope it does, I can just go ahead and drill these four holes. Then I just gotta cut those welds off, tap some threads into these, screw it all back together. That way I know all the screw holes are all gonna line up nicely. Then I can go ahead and just arrow dyed it in place. And then once that's all set, I can just unscrew this face, remove it, drill the holes for any buttons and things dress it up, make it all nice and fancy. Then we can go ahead and do some electrical work and it'll be ready to go. So how am I gonna align these brackets then? Well, I think I'm just gonna take a flat surface and just line them up like that and that should put them in place. Let's go ahead and uh, grab the old welding machine and See what we can do. All right, so I've test fitted all this. Oh, well, looks like it's gonna go in just the way I want it, so time to drill some holes. Splendid. Well then, time to tap some holes. And you see, here's the fun part. I don't actually have the right tap for the screws that I want to use, which are these little ones. I don't have anything else that's really how I want, but I do have a tap. It's the right diameter. The thread pitches out by half a mil. But I did, I did test tap another hole, and I think just because it's so short, it does, it does wind in, so I think we can get away with it, hopefully. Mm -hmm. 
There's something about tapping threads into things that I find very therapeutic. Providing, of course, that the tap doesn't break. So I've roughed up all my edges along these things and the faces inside the car. So all I've got to do now is screw it all together, mix up some araldite, and away we go. There it is, quick shot of brake cleaner and it'll be ready for gluing.
is. It's a little button panel. Amazingly enough, I actually got everything to line up. I wasn't expecting that. Well, I guess we're going to see how it looks in the car.